Hello everyone, it's Susie here with this week's virtual picture news. I really love an adventure and discovering new things and I've been over the moon learning all about this story. So let's buckle up and take a look at this week's picture. What can you see? Is there anything you like or dislike? Do you have any questions? Use the clues in the picture and some of the questions you have asked to make a prediction as to what could be happening in the news this week. Let's look at this week's story. The UK has a new astronaut currently training with NASA for the next six months. Dr Rosemary Coogan, who has a degree in astronomy, is expected to take part in a space mission within the next five years. It is possible that Dr Coogan could become the first British person to walk on the moon and there has also been discussions about future missions to Mars. How does this week's story make you feel? Maybe you are feeling inspired as you would also like to become an astronaut and travel into space one day. Perhaps you are very interested and have been captivated by this week's story and would like to learn more about space travel and future missions to the moon and to Mars. I know I am. Now would be a good time to pause the video and share your thoughts with those around you. Let's look at this week's big question. How does it feel to be the first to do something? Dr Rosemary Coogan might be the first British person to walk on the moon. Let's find out a little more about her in this week's fact file. Rosemary Coogan is 34 years old. She was born in Northern Ireland but grew up in England. She is a trainee astronaut at the European Space Agency, which is also known as the ESA. What did she study? Dr Coogan studied physics and astrophysics, which is the study of space planets and stars, and has two science degrees. She trained to become an astronaut in Germany. What else has she done? Before becoming an astronaut, Dr Coogan worked with ships and boats. She trained as a sea cadet and was a volunteer for the Royal Navy Reserve. And she can also speak French and German. Where is she now? She is now training with NASA in Houston, Texas, USA, where she is learning how to live in space, use a spacesuit, and stay safe in difficult situations. As part of her training, Dr. Rosemary Coogan had to prepare for a difficult challenge where she had to complete a pretend spacewalk underwater. Here, she spent over six hours in a giant pool practicing what it would be like to walk in space. The pool, called the Neutral Buoyancy Lab, is at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, USA. Dr. Rosemary Coogan spoke recently about a possible mission to the moon and shared her thoughts on being part of that. It's incredibly exciting that we, as humanity, are going back to the moon. And of course, any way that I could be a part of that, I would be absolutely delighted. I think it's absolutely thrilling. 
Would you like to experience going to space if you had the opportunity? Why? Have you ever been the first to do something? How did it feel? Imagine being the first person in your family to go to a different country or the first in your class to try a new sport. Being the first can feel exciting, doing something that no one else around you has done. Reflect and discuss with those around you how there could also be other feelings too. For example, it could be a little bit scary, but also think, what could some of the benefits to being the first be? Can you think of some examples of times others have been the first to do something? This could be someone famous or someone you don't know. What impact did they make? Take one last look at this week's picture and big question. Share your thoughts. Reflection. Being the first to do something can feel exciting, but may also be scary as you're stepping into the unknown. By being brave, you can inspire others to follow in your footsteps. In resources one and two this week, subscribe schools are learning a little more about what an astronaut gets up to each day whilst they are in space. And we also discover some of the other people who were first to do things. If you're new here, you can click the link in the description for a free sample of this week's resources. Which of the follow-up activities in resources one and two will you complete this week? Perhaps you will create your own beautiful star constellation complete with a number pattern. Or maybe you'll create a wonderful courage tree to help inspire and encourage others to be brave if they are thinking of trying something for the first time. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!